Hi class, I just wanted to set you up on uh, problem 916. It involves two people sitting on a boat, Ricardo and Carmelita. They are sitting three meters apart and what they do is they switch places. Ricardo goes to one end and Carmelita to the other end and when they do this the boat actually moves 40 centimeters relative to a point on the shore. Now they give the mass of Ricardo and the mass of the boat and we're asked to, to find based on the information uh, the mass of Carmelita. So the key to, to doing this problem is to draw a very accurate picture. So here we have a, a boat with um, Ricardo and Carmelita on it. I've dr drawn the boat extra long, exaggerated so that we can um, things aren't too crowded and we can easily see uh, everything. So let's have uh, Ricardo sit on the left here and Carmelita on the right and let this uh, uh, dashed line represent the center of the boat. Now because it says in the problem that Ricardo is heavier we know that the center mass won't be in the middle if they were had the same mass the center mass would be right in the middle of the uh, of the boat but because Ricardo is a little heavier it's going to be off to the left a little bit so it's going to be somewhere over here the center of mass okay now we were told that they sit three meters apart so let's let uh, L be the distance they're separated by and uh, L is going to equal three meters Now what we learned on Monday was that for a closed system, the center of mass, if it's already if it's start if it's already stationary, should not move. So when Ricardo and Carmelita stand up, switch places, the center of mass, which is this represented by this X right here, should be in the same place uh, after they have switched places. So here's a picture showing that they have switched places. Ricardo is now on the right here and Carmelita is on the left. Now because of the symmetry of the problem the two people all they've done is switch places so it's like as if the boat was switched in a mirror. Ricardo is now on the right side, Carmelita is on the left and the center mass which used to be over here from, is now on this side the same distance from the center of the boat as it was before. So it's as if we took this picture and did a flipped everything uh, through a mirror about the center to get this picture. The center of mass is now the same distance uh, from the center, but on the right side now, just as Ricardo is now on the right side of the boat. Now notice that I've drawn the center of mass of the two pictures to be in a straight line going down. So that means that's what it's saying is there is that the center mass does not move because it's a closed system you have three objects boat Ricardo Carmelita there are no external forces there's no friction between or assumed to be no friction between the boat and the water so there the center mass is initially stationary so it will remain stationary so now the next bit of information is that the boat had moved 40 centimeters as a result of their switching so we can just label that if we just look at the center of the boat the distance between this center and that center is going to be D where D is going to equal to 0 0.4 meters so let me just clear this up a little bit uh, move this down so that we can um, make the picture more clear okay so now we're ready to label everything everything before they made their switch and everything they made uh, after they made their switch so before they made their switch so relative to this pure pose let's let uh, Ricardo's position be X sub R and the boat's position be labeled as X sub B and let me just move these uh, these things down a little bit so that that's still D 
Um, and then Carmelita's position would be labeled X sub C. Okay, so after they made their switch, these positions are all different now, so we need to give them just new names. So Carmelita, Carmelita would be X sub C prime. The boat has also moved X sub B prime. And Ricardo has, has moved to X sub R prime. So everything is measured to, to a, in a fixed frame, uh, the, the pier post in this case. There's a final um, pos position, of course. That's the position of the center mass, XCM, which goes from the pier post all the way to the X there. And again, X center mass does not change. So in both cases, it's represented by one variable and one variable only. So from the previous uh, video lecture, we have a formula for the center mass. That's XCM equals the sum of each mass times its position divided by the total mass, where this is the Greek symbol sigma, means sum. For our case, just before the exchange, we just take M Ricardo times his position plus mass of the boat times its position plus mass of Carmelita times her position divided by the total mass. And once again, because there are no external forces, this is a closed system, three objects, the center mass does not move. That allows us to set this equal to the same formula, but with the variables, the position variables represent um, a change for the prime variables, the variables after they made their exchange. So it's mass of Ricardo times the position of Ricardo after the exchange. Now it's prime. So this is the variables that appear in the second picture. Mass of the boat times XB prime plus mass of Carmelita times XC prime all divided by mass of Ricardo plus mass of the boat plus mass of Carmelita. So this equation equals this equation and we need more information if we want to solve for Carmelita's mass which is M sub C. We can get more information if we uh, look, go back to our picture and see if we can relate the uh, prime variables to the unprime variables. So if we take a look at the picture again, we see that if we start at, say, x sub r and move a distance half of the boat, l over 2, we get to the center of the boat. From there, since the center of the boat moved back a distance of d, we subtract d, we get to the center of the boat uh, after the switch, and if we add another distance L over 2, we get to Ricardo's new position. So mathematically what this means is we start at X sub R and then we add, we go to the center of the boat, L over 2. So that means we go from X sub R to the center of the boat and then from there, we're going to subtract a distance the boat moved, which is D. So minus D. And then from there, we're going to go from the center to Ricardo's new position. Uh, so we must add a distance L over 2. And this, this must equal Ricardo's new position, which is XR prime. So we want to do the same thing for the for the boat position. It starts out at XB. And then we're going to subtract off uh, a distance D, and that'll give us uh, that'll make us end us end up at XB prime. So that's an easy one. XB minus D equals XB prime. Finally, we want um, Carmelita's um, variables 
how, how they're related. So if we start at Carmelita's position here and subtract off L over 2, we get to, to this spot, the center here. And since the boat, again, since the boat moved a distance D, we subtract off another D, we get to the center of the new boat's position. And then we subtract off another L over 2 to get to Carmelita's new position. So again, mathematically, this would look like XC minus L over 2 minus D minus L over 2, which would give you X sub C prime. Now, so now with uh, these equations and the equations uh, relating the center of mass, you should have all the equations you need to solve for Kamalita's mass. And I'll let you figure that one on your own.